All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah Kadash. And that's the true names in the Paleo Hebrew and the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he's the savior. He is the deliverer. Bahashem in the name. Raka Kadash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, to you brothers that's pushing this word, learning and, and studying under the vibration of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and uh, I just want to come with a quick lesson because uh, what, you, what I have here on the screen, it's from uh, a video, but uh, I don't want to play the video because it is it, it shows uh, death and robbery. So I do not want to play the video so I won't get uh, flagged or the video taken down off my page. But I can definitely um, uh, speak on this uh, on this video. Well, I took a couple screenshots. But uh, the time that we're coming in is a time of evil. Evil days is, is, is a barking, uh, is about to take place on the earth, man. And it's ultimately, it's from the judgment of the Heavenly Father. But this is why there's many scriptures telling you to measure the time diligently, to be circumspect, to, uh, to, to know uh, uh, what time we're in. You know, so you won't be caught off guard. You know, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times. You know, and, and the times it's, it's talking about is the time of Jacob's trouble, a time of pure evil, a time of the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And and it behooves you to seek the Lord and seek out wisdom and fear him to get this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So so on, on the screen, again, I have a few uh, screenshots. Uh, again, this is from a, a, a video that a brother sent on the group chat. And I wanted to speak on it, you know. Uh, you see two women, and there's, there's, there's one woman consoling the one with the red head hair. It seems like she's in distress, or she needs help, or she's going through pain, or she's going through an emergency, and she's calling out for help, you know. And there's a guy, you know, probably trying to be a good Samaritan, trying to, you know, uh, uh, see what the problem is and see if he can be a helping hand, but not knowing that this is all planned and by uh, it was all uh, it was all by design. It was a snare to uh, ultimately rob him. And in the in the video, the woman that goes behind the guy, as you can see on this one, uh, she ends up uh, stabbing him on the upper neck. Uh, I don't know if it's with a syringe, with a, a knife, but ultimately he gets stabbed. Whether it hit a nerve, he gets laid out. And in the video. They rob his pockets. They take his pockets. They take everything he owns, and then they flee. They run in, and, and they and they leave. So the reason why I just wanted to um, speak on this is because the days of evil are coming, and it and it's and it's, it behooves you to be wise, to be circumspect, to know uh, your surrounding. You know, not to trust every anybody because the times that we're embarking in is of evil. So let me just get some scriptures again. I could have played the video, but I I don't want to risk uh, getting flagged. But um, let's start with the scripture, uh, Ephesians chapter five and verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See, so you, this is uh, uh, this is uh, good advice. This is the comforting words getting your mind prepared that you got to be circumspect. You got to know your surrounding. Pay attention because and be wise. Don't be a fool and fall for the snares or tricks. Of just even because you see two beautiful women, one might need help, it looks like, or a person might be elderly or a person might need in, in, in need. You got to be circumspect. You got to use apply wisdom and know that we're coming in some times of evil times, man. You know, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And this is what the Lord is going to bring upon the earth. 
You know, the Lord said he's going to bring death and destruction, you know, so you got to be uh, circumspect, know your surroundings, paying attention. And the time that we're living, we're living, we're living in is not in the time of peace and love and safety. We're in a time where uh, tensions is brewing. There's so much separation. There's a lot of hate. There's evil being uh, pushed. You know, there's a lot of division. So this is this is a. Uh, 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 a warning, you know, to, to be circumspect and to pay attention, you know, don't fall for the okie doke just because you see two beautiful women, you know, or somebody that may seem harmless. Don't think that uh, uh, no type of harm can come your way. That's why you got to apply wisdom and pay attention and be circumspect and know your surroundings. Because, again, we're coming in some times of, 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 of great death and destruction, you know. Uh, real quick, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. And it reads, uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 3 and 1, To everything there is a season and a time uh, to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up which, to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break, a time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. So you got to understand what season that we're in. You know, that we're in a time of hate, time of war, a time of, of great death, uh, uh, destruction. And this is all the will of the Heavenly Father. As I read in the uh, um, Ephesians, I go back to it. You got to understand what the will of the, the Lord is, man. You don't want to be considered a fool not knowing uh, as it says in verse 17, again, I read that Ephesians 5, verse 17. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. The Lord is going to bring destruction upon the earth. Many great miseries is going to come in these latter days. Because ultimately, this is a sign of the end of Esau's rulership, his heaven. And it's going to go down by destruction, about, uh, uh, by evil, by, by uh, the sword. So you can't be unwise. And we're in these times where... The love of many wax and real cold. Let me get that. Uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So iniquity is abound. There's nothing but wickedness, nothing but sin, nothing but unrighteousness in the world. And this is why there's no more love. There's no more kind heartedness, heartedness you know, you can, and that's why it, everybody's cold. Again, we're in a time of war. We're in a time of hate. You know, there's no more morals because it's nothing but wickedness that's happening in these latter days. So you got to be paying attention of these signs because this is part of uh, uh, Yahweh Shai speaking to the disciples, giving them them signs, whether it was wars, rumors of wars, nations shall rise against nation, famines, pestilence, earthquakes, you know, beginning of sorrows. These are all the beginning of sorrows. And it's talking about also, you know, you're going to be hated uh, for your belief, for trusting in Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, for believing in Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And then it says the love, of, I'm going to read it again, Matthew 24 and 12. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. You know, but he, verse 13, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. Well, we're close to the end, man. These are signs that Yahweh Shai left to the disciples, ultimately left to the servants, the prophets, to be aware, to be measuring the time diligently. The times of evil, man. We're redeeming the time. Jacob's trouble. You know, and, and the Lord has these spirits uh, created for vengeance, created to fulfill his will, man. And you got to understand what time we're in. I'm going to get that Ecclesiastes, or Salaki, Ecclesiasticus 39, and uh, I believe it's 28. Con, uh, Ecclesiasticus of the book of Sirach 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, 
in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So this is all ultimately the will of the Ha'abashim Ha'ushah. He has these spirits created for vengeance. You know, you can't be out here willy nilly you know, uh, not being wise. Being a fool, thinking everything's sweet, man. You got to know what time we're in. We're in a time of judgment. We're in a time of, 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 of harsh times, man. You know, bad times, evil. You know, this is again what the Lord's gonna embark. You know, when I seen this, um, this video again, I also thought about also that scene. I think it's the opening scene uh, in uh, the Book of Eli with that woman with the shopping cart, and she looked like she's in dire need. She's she's in hell. She needs help, you know. But ultimately, it was a snare, you know. I have a, again a screenshots of it because I don't want to get flagged for copyright. But you know, brothers and sisters, you know, if you've seen the uh, the Book of Eli, you know what I'm talking about. It's the opening scene, and you know, this woman was set as a trap, you know, for uh, actually hijackers uh, in the on the in the road in the same path where Eli was walking through. You know, there were uh, hijackers uh, hidden, but through his knowledge and wisdom, you know, his senses, you know, he 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 knew that he couldn't trust the situation that he was uh, taking place, and he called out. He, you know, and it's a great movie, but just seeing that real reality video uh, made me think about this scene over here in the, the Book of Eli, man. You know, you got to trust your you know your gut feeling, as they say. You know, which, which is your spirit, man. You know, we you, you got to have apply wisdom and knowledge, and, and be circumspect and know what times that we're living in. You know, um, let me get a uh, second Ezra, chapter fifteen, and verse fourteen. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And this is what's coming to uh, the whole world, mainly here in America, because this is Babylon the Great. This is who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh <clears throat> You know, they have a bullseye on this place to destroy it off the face of the earth. But before ultimately the uh, Babylon is destroyed by them thermonuclear missiles from World War Three. In the chariots, there's going to be Jacob's trouble. And this is what's going to be uh, 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 loose. A lot of great death, sword, famine, miseries, you know. And this video or, or the, these screenshots that I have from this video that I've seen just shows, man, the time that we're, we're, we're uh, uh, com uh, coming into, man. A time where people are, are fed up, you know, they're, the living conditions are terrible. You know, you can't afford to uh, to live here because of the the, the food prices, uh, lack of jobs, lack of resources. And as I read in Second Ezra, man, people are going to take matters in their own hands, man. There's going to be sedition, uproars of the people against governments. You know, they're going to have. Uh, again, it says for the sword and destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. And they're going to be with all type of weapons. It's going to be a survival of the fittest. A dog-eat-dog -dog world, man. And you can't trust nobody but but the uh, the people, the brothers that's like-minded in this truth, man. The brotherhood, man. You know? You got to be real circumspect, man. Not to trust anybody. Because the world is waxing cold, you know? And again, these scriptures is comforting because the Lord gave us warnings, man, through these, 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 the prophets, man, you know, these signs and wonders. Now the second Ezra is eight and 50. And it reads, uh, for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. See, so many great miseries are going to be coming through America and throughout the four corners of the earth, man, because this is the, of the judgment of the heavenly father, man. And in the latter times, I'm telling you, we're in these latter days, you know, and people are walking in great pride, acting like sh shit is sweet, man. 
that not, that that they can't be touched. Man, this world is cold, man. And in that video, it just shows, man. You can you can think that you as that guy thinking he's doing something uh, honorable. He's being a good Samaritan. He's helping. You know, it just shows that a, at any given moment, death is right around the corner, man. This this is the shadow of Valley of Death, man. So you got to pay attention and be wise and, and, and circumspect, you know. And I'll just uh, end it off with this because, I mean, that's the point, man. We are not in a time of uh, love and peace and happiness, man. You know, the, we're in a time of, you know, you have to have your antennas uh, raised. You got to be circumspect. You got to watch. You got to uh, pay attention. You got to apply wisdom, you know. Sometimes you, if you, you know, you, you got to just be careful. There's just so much rage. You can't even, like, even beat the horn at somebody and say a rose rager or something. You don't know what that man or woman is going through. They probably just want to uh, uh, leash out their anger. You know, you got to be able to, uh, when you leave your house, you want to be able to make it back home, man. And that's ultimately, you got to pray, man. Pray without ceasing, man. Again, because your how about Shimmy I was shy is the only way that's going to ha uh uh, you be protected in these uh, evil days, man. Uh, what I've said, I call Ezekiel 7. And I'll read it from the top. Ezekiel 7, verse 7. I mean, Salaki, verse 1. Uh, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus said the Lord Yahweh unto the land of Israel, and end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. All right, so this has been declared throughout the four corners of the earth, man. You know? But it's the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to be a deliverer for the, the, the children of Israel, the elect of Israel. You know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you need to uh, seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai before the destruction comes, man. You know, there's a way. The Lord has given uh, you an outlet for salvation, man. That's mercy through Yahweh, Bashem, through Yahweh Shai, man. You got to take heed to these words, man. Before the evil days draw nigh, I'm going to get that, Lord's will. But let me continue on. Verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. You know, so hey, this is the time where the Lord is now going to show his hand, man. He's going to show judgment. And you're going to know that he's the Lord. You're going to fear him through these judgments. They're going to be so catastrophic or of biblical proportion. You're going to know and learn to fear Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, people think that God is all love, man. Not knowing that, again, this is the will of the Heavenly Father, that he also kills and makes it alive, man. He heals and he wounds, you know. A, a, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So thinking that God is all love, 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 uh, he, he is love, but you're thinking that's all he is, you're, you're sadly mistaken and you got it all wrong, man. You believe in uh, uh, false uh, uh, teaching of thinking that God is only love. No, the, the, it says the Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name, you know, and he has, he created a, uh, uh, as I read in Ecclesiastes, he has um, spirits created for vengeance to lay out sore strokes where he pleases, you know, which is to fulfill his will. So you got to know that ultimately the judgment that the Lord is going to send his anger is, is because this is his will, man. But to continue on, verse five, uh, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, an evil and only evil behold is come. An end is come, the end is come, and watch it for thee, behold it is come. See, so this is what's coming, man. Death, destruction, bad times, misery, grief, lamentations, mourning, woe. And we, as a servant of prophets, man, we're here to give you warning, man. We're, we're not here to speak our own vain thoughts and opinion. We speak the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to give you warning, to get the blood off our hand, to take, uh, 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 to take these uh, epistles or take these uh, uh, seeing uh, uh, brothers on the uh, streets teaching take it seriously man do not tarry I'll get that you don't want to take this uh, uh, lightly because great hell is coming here man great death misery you know is coming man so you, it behooves you so called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans which are the true Hebrew Israelites uh, God's chosen people to get right and repent man 
and, 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 and don't tarry. Don't put off this warning. You know, I got that Ecclesiastic, this 5 verse 7, and it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's what the Lord's going to bring, vengeance. You know, the vengeance is his. His indignation, his righteous anger. He's coming to plead with all flesh. The slain of the Lord shall be many, as according to Isaiah, the 66th chapter, man. The Lord's coming with that sword and that fire to plead with all flesh, man. You know, with his chariots. Matter of fact, let me just get it, you know. This is serious, man. You're thinking that, uh, uh, again, what people think that, uh, you know, they call him Jesus. You know, he's going to come down with turtle doves, you know, holding hands and, and just giving everybody hugs. And, and it's going to be just all ha happy and peaceful. That's not according to the scriptures, man. The Lord is ready to come with the sword and to render great death and pain and misery, man. Uh, Isaiah 66, verse 15. And it reads, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. And for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And we know ultimately... The sword of the Lord is these these plagues. Ultimately, you know, the the, uh, the thermonuclear missiles, that's the icing of the cake. You know, from World War Three. you know, them chariots shooting them blazer beams. There's going to be a lot of great death, man. And it, and it behooves you to get right with the Lord because the Lord ain't playing, man. The Lord ain't coming with peace, man. He's coming with great death. I'll get that again in Matthew. Matthew, I think that's uh, 10 and 31. Yeah, Matthew 10 and 31. Oh, Salakia. Uh, 10 and 34, Salakia. Uh, I think not that I've come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. See, so this is ultimately the characteristics of Yahweh, uh, of Yahweh Shai, man. Through the will of Yahweh. You know, this is red letter. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, man. And he's not coming to, uh, to bring peace. He's coming with war, destruction, plagues, great miseries, man. So here yeah, yeah, you're warned, man. It's, it behooves you to seek the Lord. I read that in Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter, but I'll bring it also. Um, what's that? Uh, Daniel? No, no, no. Salakia. Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter. Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So remember Yahweh and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. You know, now, man, take heed, get right, repent, you know, try to uh, uh, seek him 10 times more. Try to follow the law, statutes, commandments to your best of your ability, man, to rehearse the righteous acts, to try to uh, uh, walk a path of righteousness, man, to, you know, and, and be not conformed to this world, man, before the evil days come, man. You know, that's all the, I, I can really... Uh, you know, really, uh, you know, speak and give advice, man, to, to repent, man, and seek your by Shem Shai because the evil days are going to come. His words are not going to go without void. He's going to fulfill everything that's written in this book, man. And you're going to have to learn to fear Yahweh by Hashem Shai. you know. So with that, man, I just pray everything was edifying. You know, I want to, again, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Shai by Hashem Rakah Kadash. Again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf, the Wadah, the House of David, the elect. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.